The first COVID vaccination clinic for students in local high schools was met with protests today. Parents and other concerned teens about getting the shot demonstrated outside Ben Senior High, shouting at kids as they made their way to classes this morning. Yeah, they were shouting and harassing those kids, and despite that, more than 170 students chose to get their shot. Brooke Snavely shows us. We're out here because we don't agree with having vaccine clinics at school where parents are not here to give consent. I know in Oregon, 15 years old is the age of consent, but that's for an FDA approved drug or biologic, and this is still an experimental vaccine. Inside Bend High today, a first for Oregon, a free vaccination clinic for high school students ages 16 and up, one of the fastest growing groups for the virus. Students are busy, they have school, they have sports, they have jobs. They may not have time to get out to the fairgrounds, and we know the fairgrounds is ending soon. So this was our opportunity to bring the option to uh, vaccinate here locally to their own schools. The high school COVID-19 vaccination clinics project is designed to reduce barriers to vaccine accessibility among youth while building healthier communities. The program started Thursday at Bend High, where about 170 teens got their first vaccinations. The clinics will be at all the local high schools over the next couple of weeks. As teenagers, you know, they just don't know. And the last 18 months of our life has been scary. And so they're unsure and there's peer pressure in school and we just don't feel that this is okay. Suzanne Mendez, director of pediatrics at St. Charles, says she's seen the worst cases of COVID in children, ranging in age from infants up to 18 year olds. Um, we've personally had to life flight out at least four kids for the life threatening complication of it's very, it's a complicated name, but it's multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, which can be lethal. Um, there's been about 30 cases statewide, which out of 800,000 kids is much higher than any risk of any vaccine. Each high school will host two clinics before the end of the school year, allowing students who choose to participate to be fully vaccinated before summer. COPA is in full support of this vaccine clinic. We think it is fantastic to give patients as many opportunities to get a vaccine if they choose. We want to make it easy, accessible, and have the most um, chances for people to make that choice. Students from private schools, alternative learning options, and charter schools will be invited to attend the clinic nearest their location. Protesters say they'll show up at all the school vaccination clinics.